Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, and our King. My name is Beulah Brown, and today we continue to focus on Christ's journey to the cross with a Monday Thursday of reflection. The Gospels of Matthew and Mark give identical accounts of what transpired on that Passover night. Jesus predicted Judas's betrayal, Peter's denial, and he instituted the Lord's Supper. At the end of the meal, they went out to the Garden of Gethsemane, singing and then to pray. He told the others to stay and pray, while he took his three closest confidants further to stay up and tarry with him all night, but they fell asleep. Luke added that an angel came to minister unto him and gave him strength in his agony as his sweat appeared like drops of blood that night. It is in John's account, however, that we see leadership on the stress. Jesus became a servant leader and washed his disciples' feet. These were the very people who complained two days before that it was such a waste to have a jar of alabaster poured on him. But now the king became a lowly servant doing the most menial of jobs. He poured water and washed the dusty feet of his disciples and this would be followed by the pouring of his blood to wash all our sins away to make us spiritually clean pardoned and accepted by his father and good enough to feast with him in paradise Apart from his demonstration on servant leadership, which is how to empower persons by serving them, Jesus riveted in the 11 remaining disciples Judas had already left, and by extension us, two other lessons that night. The first is the power of prayer, and the other is the power of love. Jesus faced his greatest temptation that night in the Garden of Gethsemane. And it was his prayers that brought him through this most difficult time of his life. He wanted to fulfill his mission, but he knew the pain ahead, and only his father could see him through. His father's will was more important than a way of escape. It was his fervent, consistent prayer that gave him strength in the face of adversity. In John's Gospel, he gave them a new commandment. This also applies to us. It was not a suggestion, but an order, a command to love one another, not half-heartedly or sometimes, but just as he loved us, enough to die for us all the time. This is our mark of Christianity. The world will know us by our love. Without prayer, we will have no power. Brothers and sisters, regardless of what we face in life, the power of prayer and Christ's love for us and within us will get us through it. Pray without ceasing. Pray for each other. Pray long. Pray short. Whatever you do, pray. Pray as if our life depends on it because it does. And nothing, nothing 
will ever separate us from God's love. Amen.